Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging and this one is from Amazon and we're back on to framing again. So let's have a look what we've got. This is like the new style sort of frames that are coming out. What do they actually call them? Let me have a look. Uh, no, it just says it's a wood picture frame for wall hanging. Um, yep, wall hanging kit. And this is from Amazon. Again, I've used one of my Vipon coupons. Uh, and instead of $13.98, I got it for $6.99. But when I went on to Amazon, it was actually, if you, it did have actually a 50% off coupon anyway on Amazon. So it would have been $6.99 with or without the Vipon coupon. So it's always worth checking those out. So let's have a look at this. I've not had a look. I have seen them on the website and I think I've seen somebody else on box one. Um, so we've got a wooden stick there, that looks nicely finished off, there's no rough edges on that, we're not going to get any uh, little wooden slivers into our fingers with that one, so that's good. Um, let's see if we can get this out of the packet. Okay, so which store did I get this one from? This is from... Tree the store, which is T R E T H E. I'll put the uh, links down below. Okay, so what there are, they're like um, a plastic coating on the front, so they're like a vinyl sort of bag. Um, I'm not quite sure how well the picture is going to stand out on these how it's going to show through. I suppose you could put, I mean, they're not just for diamond painting. You can actually put anything through them. So we've got a piece of satin ribbon, which is very, very creased, um, which I presume will go through the top to hang it. So have we got anything to hang it from? And then we've got two of your tassels quite thin tassels actually there's not a huge amount on those tassels um, I think they hang from your wooden uh, stick but which way up does it go well, I suppose yeah <laughs> which way up does it go it'll have to go um, the bottom will be the bit that hasn't got the opening because if you hang it that way Liz duh, it's gonna drop out the bottom so it's gonna be that way up so does this go at the top or does it go but actually, you know, the little things are there. So let's see. So that's going to, oh, right, yes, this will go at the top here. And that's where your picture will go. So this is actually the top. I was thinking this would go at the bottom, but it won't, will it? And then you will knot this onto there. And let's just loosely, oops, knot that on there. I suppose you could put any ribbon or string or whatever you like on this, um, possibly to match your picture. I won't put a knot in it for now. What I'll probably do, <laughs> what I'm, I actually do with ribbons, I mean, you can iron them to get the creases out, but uh, I just put some parchment paper over uh, and uh, use my hair straighteners. I've got some ceramic hair straighteners and that's easier than getting the iron out. <laughs> but you can use whatever method, but that's just uh, something that I have uh, do with ribbons. Just rub my hair straighteners along it and it just... Uh... So that's that. I know it's not securely fastened, but that's how that's going to go. And then if you look... Oh, that's not very good. We've got a thing there. There's a very, very tiny little hole if you can just see there for the tassels to go through it doesn't go all the way through it is just there but that's not going to fasten very well is it how's that going to go through there so if that goes through there so yeah i suppose so let's just get one of my pokey tools okay we'll use some tweezers that's probably easier uh, let's just uh, see if we can do this on camera. Yeah, oops, just poke that 
through there. Okay, and then just loop that through there. So that's one. Put it at the bottom. Yeah, that's just going to hang at the bottom there. So let's just uh, do the other one as well. We might as well while we're here and we've got the tweezers ready. Let's just get that in the background there. There you are, you see, there's another use for the tweezers. And if we were to uh, loop that through there, that's it. And then loop that one round there. Okay. So that's that one. So, yes, so then you have the tassels hanging at the bottom. That one's got a bit caught there. But I'm not quite sure how you're going to flatten this. I mean, I know you can put a book or something on it, I suppose, like you do with your paintings. Now then, let's just measure this size. It says it's a 30 by 40 that I've got. So what's the picture size going to be? That's actually 34 that way by 24 that way. Okay, so what I've got is a, this was a 30 by 40 canvas. This is the one I did for my spring thing, flings and diamond things art, uh, that Cindy did. Um, yeah, and this was a 30 by 40. So this must be a 30 by, oh, I can't remember what this is. Oh, did it say on the listing? No, it doesn't say there, so, but I did think it would probably fit this canvas. Yeah, this was a 30 by 40 canvas, um, but it was poured glue, so it ends up about 25 by 35. So let's just see if this slots in. It may fit, it's always a little bit tight. Let's see if it will go in. Just thought it was a nice bright picture to show it's going to be a little bit big. Yeah, it's not going to quite fit in, is it? Let's just, uh, so we would need a slightly smaller one. Let's just see if we can, just for the purpose of the video, let's just see if we can. Oh, it is going to go in. It's uh, just a bit of a snug fit. We might just fold over there. Yeah, no, it needs a slightly smaller one. But yeah, oh, I suppose you're not, oh, that, that's pretty good, actually. I mean, we've got a bit of a, a ridge here at this side. It does need to be a bit smaller. But that has uh, straightened it. So that's just a different way of hanging your pictures. I mean, it's quite nicely framed. Um, this actually, the blue does match the picture, which is quite nice. I might actually uh, just cut this one down slightly. Just need a couple of... Um, a couple of drills off that side and then this will fit in properly uh, yeah and then that will just hang in there and that's quite a nice picture so yeah these do work um, obviously you know you've got your black frame so you do need to look for a picture that's going to complement it I mean you can put whichever colour tassels on it one one's got a bit uh, I wonder if I've caught that one as I've put it through I must have done Oh yeah, I've missed one there. I've missed one as I've pulled it through, so I'll just have to redo that one. Uh, it's just got a bit crinkly. I've got uh, one of the threads just hasn't quite pulled through properly there. So I'll redo that one. But yeah, that's uh, quite nice there. Oh, just excuse me a moment. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the phone's ringing. So I've had to just uh, go and answer the phone. So yeah, I'll get that chopped off there. And then that one can stay in there. Okay. Um, I just did want to um, update you as well. Uh, just as a little aside. On this frame that I got. Um, I've been having a look on the website where I got this frame from, if you remember. It came in four pieces and you just slot them together. I got a pack of two. Um, and I was saying about, you know, the fact that you can see these bits here. Uh, but apparently what you do is you actually wrap your picture around it. So you would put it 
onto your canvas and then I mean these are quite small aren't they this is a 30 by 30 and this is a 30 by 30 frame and you would pull it round and so you would need bigger really than 30 by 30 hmm yeah you would pull it round and fasten it there but then that would also mean that you would need to take your legend off so you put your legend along there so yeah that's going to be a strange size i suppose if you got maybe a 40 by 40 that was poured glue which would make it about 35 by 35 that might wind around a bit. You can actually get these the writing off these using nail varnish remover. But again, you're going to have quite a, an uglyish edge, aren't you, along here? A plain white edge. And if you had a bigger diamond painting, you don't really want to be wrapping your diamonds around because unless it, the corner actually matches with the uh, diamonds that go around the edge. So that's going to be a little bit different to do. But I will have a play around with them. You know, I do like to a challenge. <laughs> I just thought these are the 30 by 30 canvases I've got. And then, so yeah, it's not quite the same at that side, is it? It's that side. We've got more at that side. Okay, so that was just a little aside on those. If you've used these frames, let me know. Um, and possibly, yeah. Uh, we can figure out together how to get that done okay but this is the one that we've uh, done for now with our little bunny and our ribbons and our tassels let's put him that way so you can see him fully there okay well just a quick video today so thanks for stopping by uh, if you've liked seeing this and if you want to leave any comments pop them in the comments down below give me a quick like and uh, i'd love you to subscribe and uh, come and join me for the next one thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now <laughs>